Episode 8, Rendezvous Point. The episode starts off with a dogfight in space between a squadron and a First Order destroyer, revealing that the Colossus was waiting for someone at a rendezvous point in the Outer Rim, as the episode title implies. With their shields down to 5%, Captain Doza realizes he can't risk waiting anymore, and commands the Colossus to do a full-on retreat. But as soon as they leave, a Resistance X-Wing then jumps out of hyperspace and finds themselves captured by the First Order. We later find out that the pilot is in fact Doza's wife and Tora's mother, Vanessa, revealing that today was actually Tora's birthday and that being the only day each year that Tora and Doza meet with Vanessa. Meanwhile, Vanessa manages to take Tam hostage as she eventually makes her way off of the Destroyer with the help of her trusty R2 unit, Torch. Tam does have some opportunities to stop Vanessa, but ultimately lets her get away after learning she's Doza's wife. When Vanessa does end up getting away, Tam proceeds to lie to Tyranny in order to protect Vanessa's identity, with herself then starting to doubt her place in the First Order. I have to say, this episode got a mixed reaction from me. It started off great with the opening dogfight and I liked the idea of the First Order finding the Colossus because of Doza sending off a beacon, which you've got to admit is a risky move. Vanessa's X-Wing then appearing only seconds after the Colossus leaves was a funny little moment, and I was impressed with how Vanessa kept her cool after finding herself jump into a whole swarm of TIE fighters like that. Given that she was a pilot back for the Rebel Alliance, New Republic, and now the Resistance, her experience really showed off here. She was calm, cool, and collected during her escape off of the Destroyer. And yeah, I can believe her being able to pull something off like that, for sure. Not to mention her R2 unit Torch being hilarious too, first faking its death, and then managing to act as a distraction by piloting a TIE fighter was fun to see. Oh, and the references to Bakura and Lehan were also great to hear, as those are planets of a ton of rich history and legends material. Another good reference was the Terex one too, as Vanessa said that she had escaped from Terex at one point before. And for anyone who doesn't know who Terex was, then he was a well-known First Order agent appearing in the Poe Dameron comics as one of the main antagonists. Now, having said all of that, at the same time, I did see some glaring problems of the episode. Mainly with Vanessa's escape, as while I can admit that she's a fairly capable survivor, there were a bit too much coincidences with the entire thing. First, how were there not any guards around Vanessa's holding cell or no one even monitoring the security cameras? It just seemed like a ghost town like everyone went out for lunch or something like that. Then it's Rucklin, of all people, who was the first one to spot them? Uh, okay, how is it a rookie pilot sees and tries to stop a breakout before any one of the hundred of thousands of stormtroopers on the destroyer? Come on. Unless Rucklin stalks Tam on the regular, then I have a hard time buying into this. Again, it all seemed far too convenient for my liking. Oh, and Tam's talk with Vanessa made a little sense too. Why does Tam randomly feel as she knows Vanessa? It's never really explained. We know that Vanessa has been away for six years now working for the Resistance and only Yeager knows who she was along with Doza and Tora. So then how does Tam feel as she knows her or why does Vanessa know Tam's name or even know how she looks like or who she is? Before Kaz came to the Colossus, Tam was a relatively unknown engineer, and I highly doubt that Doza brought her up in family conversations with Vanessa, especially when he would only meet her once per year. Not to mention, we find out later that Vanessa had warned Doza before that the First Order was bad news and how dangerous they were. And yet, we're now to believe Doza afterwards gives full control of the Colossus to the First Order in Season 1 all fully knowing this? Uh, okay, something doesn't add up here. In Season 1, Doza wasn't a fan of the First Order, but at the same time, he didn't seem to think they were dangerous or really a problem, otherwise he wouldn't have done everything that he did. So this retcon with Vanessa just makes Doza look like a total goof now. And uh, speaking of Vanessa, if she's such a prolific pilot and an active Resistance member, why is it that we've never seen or heard of her in canon material before? 
Remember, the Resistance is still a fairly small operation, and only has a handful of skilled pilots. So I feel that we really should have heard of her by now before this show. Overall, this episode wasn't the worst, nor was it the greatest. It was fine. Don't get me wrong, there were certainly moments of enjoyment to be had here. But all the problems I mentioned, plus the bad retcon, just had the episode leave a bad taste for me in the end. But that was my take on this episode of Star Wars Resistance. Let me know what you all thought about it in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.